हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर विशाल फ्रॉम महाराजा अगर सैन यूनिवर्सिटी बदी हिमाचल प्रदेश टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मॉड्यूल इकोनॉमिक इंटीग्रेशन व्हिच विल कवर आर टी एंड एफ टी ए अंडर द पेपर इंटरनेशनल बिजनेस ऑपरेशन स्टूडेंट्स आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस मॉड्यूल you will be able to understand the meaning of rta and fta understand the factors behind the proliferation of rta know about various types of economic integration and you will be able to understand the advantages and disadvantages of fta students during the past two decades nearly every country that participated in gate or the wto has also joined with neighboring countries in some form of regional trade arrangement these regional trade arrangements differ in structure and in the issues that they negotiate but they have a common objectives to increase trade and prosperity through the mutual reduction of barriers to the exports of neighboring countries a key premise of these regional trade arrangements is that neighboring countries which sometimes share cultural and language ties can expand trade more rapidly which is difficult otherwise regional trade agreements have proliferated in recent years bilateral and regional free trade agreements have also played a larger role in recent years seeking not only to reduce but also to eliminate nearly all restrictions on trade among participating countries arrangements that partially or fully embrace free trade among countries within a given region have been established in north america europe southeast asia the southern part of south america and in several african sub regions meaning of regional trade agreements a regional trade agreement refers to free trade among a number of nations in a specified area or region it is an economic trade agreement to reduce tariffs and non tariff barriers on trade between two or more nations to promote trade and investment bilateral and multilateral trade agreements could be mutually beneficial to both the countries however regional trade agreements shortly called as rta could accelerate trade liberalization and set higher benchmarks for the multilateral system regional trade agreements regulate more than one half of global trade according to the inter american development bank member nations signing a regional trade agreement agree to eliminate trade tariffs on exports and imports this promotes and increases trade among member nations of a free trade agreement bloc a regional trade agreement requires the approval of the legislators of the countries which sign the trade agreement factors behind the proliferation of rtas the need for regional trade agreements has arisen from a number of socio economic political and security considerations increasingly rtas are also viewed as a way to link developing and developed countries in a common project of economic development 
RTAs encourage investment, facilitate productivity, gains in participating developing countries and accelerate their economic growth. A classic example of deep economic integration among nations through an RTA is the European Union. In the EU, all internal trade barriers have been eliminated and a common external tariff is exercised on all non members. All EU members also share a common currency and a set of macroeconomic policies. Countries have embraced regional trade agreements primarily due to the following reasons. Number one, to derive benefits of increased preferential access to highly competitive larger markets. Number two, the slow progress in trade liberalization under the WTO. Number three, the failure of multilateralism based trade talks. Number four, a sharp increase in FTAs around the world which has prompted other countries not involved in regional trade agreements to also consider engagement in such agreements termed as demonstration effect to promote liberalization and bring about policy reforms. Number six, to attract more foreign direct investment into the country and number seven, political and security considerations. Advantages of RTA Lower prices Regional trade agreements reduce the tariffs between the countries which are part of the trade agreement. The World Trade Organization requires regional trade agreements to reduce tariffs between countries but doesn't allow these countries to increase tariffs on countries which do not participate. Tariff reductions allow people to purchase goods from other countries at lower prices. International Export Advantages Regional trade agreements provide trade advantage for all countries in a region which improve their worldwide competitiveness including in the markets of countries not included in the trade agreement. A car manufacturer that can purchase cheap steel from a country with which it has a regional trade agreement can sell cars elsewhere at a lower cost. Dispute Resolution Regional trade agreements include processes to settle trade disputes. Countries come into conflict with one another over agricultural subsidies, dumping products at low prices and currency manipulation. The trade agreement includes standardized arbitration rules and ensures that trade disputes are resolved according to consistent rules. Trade agreements often specify the forum in which trade disputes are resolved, reducing disputes about which organization has jurisdiction over the trade dispute. Rewarding Elise Elise can receive rewards through a regional trade agreement. The United States delayed signing trade agreements with the nations of Chile and New Zealand since these nations opposed the Iraq war. A country can also reward nations that establish similar economic and political systems with a free trade agreement and refuse to sign a free trade agreement with the nations which violate human rights. Types of Economic Integration
फ्री ट्रेड अग्रीमेंट फ्री ट्रेड अग्रीमेंट इज द मोस्ट वाइड सप्रेड फॉर्म ऑफ आर टी एस इन एन एफ टी ए मेंबर कंट्रीज इलिमिनेट और रिड्यूस इंटरनल टैरिफ एंड नॉन टैरिफ ट्रेड बैरियर्स अमंग मेंबर्स वाइल ईच मेंबर इज फ्री टू मेंटेन डिफरेंट मोस्ट फेवर्ड नेशन बैरियर्स ऑन नॉन मेंबर्स द बेस्ट नॉन free trade agreements are the european free trade association the north american free trade agreement and the association of southeast asian nations customs union the next level of integration is a customs union a custom union moves beyond on fta by establishing a common external tariff on imports from non member countries typically customs union contain mechanisms to redistribute tariff revenues among member countries some examples of customs union include south african customs union east african community customs union gulf cooperation council and central american customs union common market common markets are a form of deep integration where member countries attempt to harmonize institutional arrangements and laws and regulations among themselves while all the features of custom union are present under a common market system the latter also provides for free movement of factors of production among the member countries in addition to the free flow of products the southern corn common market and the common market of eastern and southern africa are examples of well known common markets other prevailing common markets include caribbean community and common market and the central american common market economic and monetary union the most comprehensive rta is an economic and monetary union in which the members remove all internal trade barriers permit the free movement of capital and labor erect common external trade barriers and unify their fiscal and monetary policies here member countries share a common currency and macro economic policies the best known and most successful form of regional trade agreement in the world in the form of an economic and monetary union is the european union other economic and monetary unions include the western african economic and monetary union economic and monetary community of central africa and the economic cooperation organization impediments to the integration despite strong economic and political arguments in sport integration has never been easy to achieve or sustain for two main reasons first although economic integration aids the majority it has its costs while a nation as a whole may benefit significantly from rta certain groups may lose moving to a free trade regime involves painful adjustments for example as a result of 1994 establishment of nafta some of the canadian and us firm moves production to mexico thus the workers in industries like textile which employ low skilled and low cost labor lost their jobs the second one arises from concerns over national sovereignty this arises because close economic integration demands that countries give up some degree of control over the key issues like monetary policy fiscal policy etc this has been a major stumbling block in eu to achieve full economic union 
the eu introduced the common currency the euro controlled by the central euro bank let's discuss now the impediments to the integration although the tide has been running strongly in favor of rta in recent years some economists have expressed concern that the benefits of regional integration have been oversold while the cost have been ignored they are good that the benefits of regional integration are determined by the extent of trade creation as opposed to trade diversion trade creation occurs when high cost domestic production is replaced by low cost imports within the free trade area and trade diversion occurs when low cost external suppliers are replaced by high cost suppliers with that free trade area a rta will benefit the world only if the amount of trade it creates exceeds the amount it diverts free trade agreements free trade agreements are pacts between nations which express the desire to commit to engaging in free trade the pact usually includes detailed list of points which each party must satisfy ensuring that trade between the partners is truly free and open multiple countries can also band together to create a free trade area of two or more countries in which free trade is actively promoted and encouraged pacts are an important way to make a free trade system work effectively showing that all member nations are bargaining in good faith in free trade two countries can trade with each other without any limits tariffs quotas taxes and other burdens to trade are lifted the government subsidies tax reductions and other perks which are designed to benefit domestic producers are also halted this removes disincentives to trade and encouraging nations to exchange goods services and labor as needed promoting the free flow of capital ideas and goods across international boundaries proponents of free trade believe that it helps to lower cost which promoting innovation in the member nations especially if a free trade area includes a large number of countries objectives of free trade area number 1 to create favorable conditions for greater economic operations and promote fair competition number 2 progressively liberalize and eliminate barriers to trade in and facilitate the cross border movement of goods and services between the territories of parties on a reciprocal basis as well as a uh, create transparent liberal and facilitative investment regime and number 3 explore new areas and develop appropriate measures for closer economic cooperation between the parties measures for comprehensive free trade area the parties agree to efficiently negotiate for establishing fta with a view to strengthening and enhancing liberalization of trade through the following progressive elimination of tariffs and non tariff barriers in substantially all trade in goods between the parties progressive liberalization of trade in services between the parties with substantial sectoral coverage 
establishment of an open and competitive investment regime that facilitates and promotes investment within and between the parties. Establishment of effective trade and investment facilitation measures including but not limited to simplification of customs procedures and development of mutual recognition arrangements. Expansion of economic cooperation in areas as may be mutually agreed between the parties that will complement the deepening of trade and investment links between the parties and formulation of action plans and programs in order to implement the agreed sectors or areas of cooperation and establishment of appropriate mechanisms for the purpose of effective implementation of this agreement. Advantages of FTA Free trade area is a trade block that allows traders to transact with business without any sort of interference or intervention from the government. It is believed that free trade area leads to mutual benefit for both the trading partners. It differs from other forms of trade in that there is no creation of artificial prices or a false demand and supply of products. In a protectionist trade economy, government intervenes in the form of subsidies, taxes, tariffs, etc. to lower prices of goods or adjust supply of products. Free trade area overcomes all this and gives a true picture of the actual demand and supply. To understand how free trade area creates a better market and trade environment, let's take a look at its benefits. Comparative advantage. In 1776, Adam Smith stated, if a foreign country can supply us with a commodity cheaper than we ourselves can make it, better buy it of them with some part of the produce of our own industry employed in a way in which we have some advantage. Smith's comment states the largest advantage of free trade countries by specializing in goods that have lower opportunity cost lead to an increase in the economic welfare of all countries. The theory is self-explanatory. Each country does what it is best in and trades with the other for its needs. In this manner, the market represents true supply and demand and trade benefits all the countries. Advantages of FTA Economies of scale When countries specialize in certain goods that they can produce, they can take advantage of economy of scale and produce these goods at lower average cost. This is more useful to industries where the fixed cost of production is very high or where the investment required is very high. By specializing in such products, the industry can ultimately gain from economies of scale and lower production costs. This would transfer to the consumer as lower prices for the finished goods. Consumer Satisfaction Because free trade area leads to a global market, consumers benefit from the competition and variety of goods brought to the market. When other countries produce 
सम आइटम्स चीपर द कंज्यूमर्स परचेजेस प्रोडक्ट्स फॉर लेस प्राइजेस अनदर बेनिफिट टू कंज्यूमर्स इज इंक्रीज इन इनोवेशन एज फ्री ट्रेड एक्सपैंड कॉम्पिटिशन ऑल्सो एक्सपैंड टू स्टे कॉम्पिटिटिव कंपनीज मस्ट सीक वेज टू क्रिएट द कंपेरेटिव एडवांटेज एंड दिस लीड्स टू इंक्रीज इनोवेशन that improves products employment and economic growth although free trade may cause jobs in one particular industry to wind up overseas jobs in the exporting and importing sides will increase when productivity increase in importing and exporting wages also tend to rise as the us has lowered its trade restrictions the gross domestic product has risen since consumers can purchase quality products for cheaper they have more expendable income effective use of raw materials free trade not only brings about economic growth but also effectively uses raw materials especially highly valuable and highly limited raw materials for instance the middle east is a rich source of oil but there is not much else in these countries trade is what ensures that this limited resource is distributed to different countries which lack this resource and the middle east in turn gets the product necessary for their day to day living and business foreign exchange gains and decreased poverty when a country purchases a product from another country with money they essentially send the exporting country non interest ious in exchange for real goods the exporting country though must use the money within the country that imported the goods for example the united states purchased steel from china with us money at the current market value China will later use the US money to purchase computer programs from the United States at the future market value. Countries that open their trade barriers to allow free trade have the chance to enter the global market which will increase income for the country. In the 1990s, developing countries that lifted trade restrictions tended to grow their three times faster than countries that restricted trade increased export countries with stringent trade restrictions often cause animosity with other countries therefore the country with restrictions also limit its own ability to export when a country removes their trade restrictions other countries are more willing to accept the exports disadvantages of fta free trade refers to the removal of any barriers taxes tariffs quotas or any other governmental restrictions on international trade which would allow the involved countries to more easily exchange particular commodities for the most part free trade is considered a good thing because the lack of trade barriers makes exportation easy and relatively inexpensive in this way a country can focus its resources more efficiently and achieve a higher real income despite the overall benefit of free trade to a nation's economy there can be some significant disadvantages to the establishment of free trade agreements expensive even though free trade is primarily meant to lower cost on items it can actually end up being quite expensive there are complicated rules and contact conditions that go into the making of free trade agreements to protect the interests of countries involved as such there is usually 
द नीड टू एस्टेब्लिश सेवरल कमेटीज एंड वर्किंग ग्रुप्स टू हैंडल द फ्री ट्रेड अग्रीमेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल द नाफ्टा एग्रीमेंट इन्वॉल्व अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट दैट वॉज मोर देन वन थाउजेंड पेजेज लॉन्ग एंड मोर देन ट्वेंटी फाइव कमेटीज इन एसेंस फ्री ट्रेड कैन बी रिसोर्स इंटेंसिव रिक्वायरिंग मल्टीपल अग्रीमेंट वेज ऑफ एनफोर्सिंग रूल्स एंड कंप्लायंस अमंग द पार्टनर कंट्रीज डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ एफ टी ए कॉम्पिटिशन द रिमूवल ऑफ इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड बैरियर्स कैन ओपन अप सम डोमेस्टिक इंडस्ट्रीज टू अनसस्टेनेबल कॉम्पिटिशन सम इंटरनेशनल मार्केट्स आर not on the same level as the domestic industry and are able to produce a certain commodity way below cost as such this surplus commodity gets flooded into the local market at much cheaper prices and essentially takes over that industry many local industries even efficient ones may be unable to compete under these conditions domestic instability free trade can also increase domestic economic instability as the local markets become dependent on global imports it basically decreases the self sufficiency of a nation so that a crisis in a significant trade partner country can directly affect the economy of the home country in addition it can encourage pollution and other environmental problem as imports and exports are encouraged and environmental concerns are not a priority in a lot of countries with cheap labor destruction of domestic industries trade agreements boost competition while some producers manage to conquer foreign markets other prove unable to compete internationally lose market share and eventually disappear as a result the economy becomes dependent on a limited number of industries while many important sectors of the economy are outsourced abroad unemployment because many domestic industries are hammered by foreign competitors unemployment rises even though some foreign firms move their operations into the country the net effect is often negative as foreign producers prefer to employ their own workers rather than provide employment to foreign ones generally work moves to countries with lower labor cost while countries with relatively high wages import unemployment loss of national identity as international trade increases national identity decreases the world's diversity suffers as a result of trade agreements and subsequent rises in cross border trade indigenous people adopt western ways of life watch hollywood blockbusters and dine at mcdonalds while the general standard of living rises local culture and national identity withers away so students let's now summarize what we have learnt in this module the principal point of free trade agreements is to secure trade liberalization while the traditional debate about ftas is the danger that they can divert rather than create trade the record to date suggests there has been little diversion ftas and regional agreements have been effective in encouraging wider trade liberalization a practical advantage of ftas is that they are quicker and easier to
to negotiate than multilateral agreements because fewer parties are at the table. Parties can secure advantages that are harder to win in bigger forums. The disadvantages are twofold. If FTAs are not set up within the right framework of policies, they can diminish rather than enhance economic welfare. The second disadvantage is that they are not good vehicle for liberalizing trade in sectors on which parties outside the agreement have a major influence. RTA have proliferated in recent years bilateral and regional free trade agreements have also played a larger role in recently seeking not only to reduce but also to eliminate nearly all restrictions on trade among participating countries thank you very much